Tuve el placer de entrevistar a los protagonistas de la nueva adaptación de Resident Evil, así que acompáñenme a Raccoon City con un bang. I read, Roby, you are a big fan of the franchise. When did you discover Resident Evil and how big was it in your childhood and growing up? I discovered it way too early. I was uh, I was only eight when it came out, and I remember playing the game in my basement and the dogs jumping through the window and just scaring the hell out of me. And uh, that was my my introduction. It has stuck, you know, getting to be a part of it was a dream come true for me. Yeah, and I was a big fan of Resident Evil 4. I uh, played hundreds of hours of that game, like a bunch of hours playing Leon before I ever got to play Leon as a movie character. Uh, but my first experience of playing them was after having read the script. And um, yeah, they're absolutely terrifying. <laughs> This new adaptation goes back to the survival horror that made this franchise so beloved. How do you hope Parker fans will react when they watch this film? That's definitely what we wanted to do. We wanted to root these movies in, in the survival horror theme that made the first two games especially so much a part of so many people's lives. And so we've definitely tried to give the fans almost a love letter. It's very nostalgic because we are literally taking scenes from the game and putting them in this movie. And it's immersive and it's, it takes the audience on a journey. So and I think that's what the game always did. I think that's what's so clever about this movie. You just think it's, that it is the the best version of an adaptation of Resident Evil 1 and 2. There's so many Easter eggs, like you're not going to get them all in the first or the second watch. It's a great origin story and a great introduction to this world. And, you know, hopefully we can bring new people to the franchise. <laughs>